What's up everybody? Welcome to Elevation Dent Company. In this video, we're gonna be doing some work on the bedside of this truck. This customer went off road, slid into a tree, and caused all this damage here on the bedside. There's also a lot of scratches going all the way down the bedside all the way to the tail lamp. There's also a couple areas that do have split paint. Now this customer is on a very extreme budget. He shopped around for a week, went to about eight different collision centers, couldn't afford any of the prices that they gave him. So he came here to us and just said, hey, what can you do with this? So our agreement was, we're just focusing on the bulk of this dent and we're doing nothing but glue pull on it. He didn't want me to get in here with any PDR tools because obviously the price went up a lot more than that. So we're at very high risk with a dent like this, with all these scratches in it, we gotta make sure we don't pull paint completely off the vehicle. And this is something that I warned a customer of he was okay with it so let's see what we can do here so the first pull i make on this is going to be right here on this body line as you can see it's got a crease running directly through it so it's really hard for us to put a tab on that dent right there because as you can see it doesn't even meet the panel so what i'm going to start out doing is using a smaller crease tab like this turning it sideways and putting it right directly inside that crease so i'm going to go ahead and clean the panel up with alcohol then i'll apply some heat to it I'm also gonna heat my tab up. I'm gonna apply a bead of high heat glue right down the center of this tab. Then I'm gonna place it right inside that crease. I wanna make my first couple pulls here with this mini K-beam puller. So I got the puller just sitting here. I got a little bit of pressure here on this tab. I'm gonna go ahead and crank on this wheel, see if we can get any of this metal to move. Once I get a good amount of tension on that, I'm gonna come through with my blending hammer and start knocking out this buckle here on the back side of this dent. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more heat to this. So that tab pulled just a little bit of that dent out, not much, but it did allow me to switch up to a longer style tab. And as you can see, we're sitting right in the crease of that now. Run some glue right down the center of this. Now the benefits to a longer tab like this, I can position this puller at any point to apply pressure. All right, I'm gonna start pulling in the center of this first. Now that I got a good amount of pressure there on that tab, I'm gonna come in with my blending hammer and I'm gonna knock this crown down here on the back side of this. And that's gonna allow that metal to move out a lot easier there in the center. As you can see here now, my tab has a kink in it and that means it pulled the inside of that dent out. We still have this low area up and through here on the front side of that body line. So now I've positioned my puller on the front half of that and I'm gonna see if I can pull some of that out now. As you can see, my tab busted off on me there, which is fine. I'm gonna switch up to a more smaller tab anyway. And this is gonna fit better in the crease of that dent. So we got a pretty good amount of this metal pulled up. We still got a knot right here in the center of that body line. And as you can see, there's some pressure blown up on the back half of it. So what I'm gonna do is come in through here and I'm gonna knock some of that out. And I'm gonna also come in and lay some of this metal down right in through here with my hammer and knock down. Now that we have those crowns knocked down, I'm gonna switch up to a more faster setting glue, some smaller glue tabs, and my mini lifter. I'm gonna use these smaller tabs to come in and take out all these little low spots.
All right, so now we're gonna move on to the upper half of this dent. As you can see, we've got this nice little dent right here. And then we've got this damage up and through here on the upper uh, bedside area. We can see that pressure that's built up here on the top. As you can see, we've got this high spot pushed out. Uh, that's right in the crease of that bedside area. And that's just because all this is pushed in, that metal had nowhere to go, so it just pushed itself out. So I'm gonna get in through here and tap some of this out, relieve some of this pressure, probably get in here and knock that down a little bit, and then I'll start putting some glue on this and making my pull. So I'm gonna start off first here by using this blending hammer. It's got about a quarter size polished tip. I'm gonna go in and tap some of this crown out first. Now that I got that crown tapped out, I'm gonna mainly work with this tab right here. And it fits perfectly right inside that dent. Should work really good for this upper half as well. So for this dent right here, cause it's so soft, I'm gonna do a more wet pull. I'm not gonna let my glue dry 100% all the way. I'm gonna pull it when it's in the mid process of drying. As you can see, the glue's still tacky. I've got a knock down here with a soft tip on it, and I'm gonna use this to knock this uh, high spot down here in this body line. So this right here is what we're left with, guys. A couple more glue tabs on this, as long as the paint don't pull. All right, guys, we're calling it quits on this panel. This thing is definitely nowhere near perfect, but it's at a really good stopping point. The next step on this dent would be to get some PDR tools behind this and finish it out. It's got some waves, some ripples in it, but like I said, the next step on something like this will be to get in there, uh, work the rest of this out with some paintless dent repair tools. Down here in this body line, there's still a crease in it. It's still kinked up down through there, but as you can see all the scratches in through there, I'm really scared to do any more pulling on this because you know, getting this far along in this dent, I'm afraid that the paint just might rip right off this vehicle. And I'm surprised that it hasn't yet. I'm surprised we got this far and no paints pulled. You know, about every pull I made on this, I was kind of, you know, cringing the entire time. Like, damn, is it gonna pull this time? There is a dent down here at the bottom that I didn't even touch because it's all the way down into the uh, clear coat down and through there. My uh, fingernails getting stuck in it. So I didn't even attempt anything in that area at all either. This customer's on a really tight budget. He's basically paying me by the hour. So I gave him two hours worth of work today on this vehicle. And the next stage, you know, it'll be a couple more hours and we'll go from there if he wants to take it there. So what I am gonna try to do just to make this bedside look a little bit better, I'm gonna try to buff some of these scratches off. This right here is not the tool you wanna be using on something like this, especially on a black truck being such a large panel because it's going to leave a bunch of little swirl marks in it but i have some swirl remover and this little thing right here is all i got to work with i'm going to use some mcguire's compound i'm going to just throw it all over the panel here Now we're gonna go over this panel by hand with some swirl remover. Here's a quick breakdown on the tools we use. We used a variety of different glue tabs on this from long tabs to crease tabs to more smaller tabs. I stayed consistent with the same two blending hammers. I used three style knockdowns from sharp to soft to blunt. I used our own crown beater by Elevation Dent Company. 91% alcohol, mini lifter, and then the mini K-beam. Collision glue with the high temp glue gun. And of course, the Milwaukee three inch buffer. That's a wrap on this video, guys. Nowhere near perfect, but it'll get the job done until the next session, if there ever is one. Let me know what you guys think about this repair down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you keep a lookout for some of our upcoming videos. Are you interested in learning paintless dent repair? Check out down in the description below some of our online training courses. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care, guys.